let's air this thing out. Hey guys, welcome back to yet another Slam Sanctuary Customs episode on our Mercedes 124 build. You may have seen in the previous episode with Raj, we finally got the audio system installed into the car. The thing sounds phenomenal and I cannot wait for you to hear it at one of our next Cars and Coffee events. Anyway, today, what are we doing? We are installing airlift performance onto the Merc. Yes, this is gonna be a bagged Benz and I've been looking forward to this since the day Raj dropped off the car. So stick with me. Let's get over to the workshop. Let's show you everything that's involved in installing airlift onto this vehicle. So guys, here we are. All the components needed to bag our bends are all here laid out in front of me. So let's start off with the front kit and the rear kit. So basically we've gone for a company called Prazi Suspension. They do a whole range of bolt-on air struts and bag kits for all sorts of cars. You know, they even do Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and of course they do a bolt-on kit for our Mercedes C124 and also the W124 models. As you can see, it's compromised with the rear kit. So rear struts, rear bag kit, and also the front struts and the front bags. Now these should be a direct fit onto our vehicle with minimal, minimal work to get it fitted correctly. So yeah, looking forward to seeing these put onto the vehicle. We do have a whole range of Prazis air suspension struts available for our sister website, the tuningstore.co.uk. So just hit the link in our description and we'll take you over to the website where you can see what kit's available for your own car. So we decided to link this with an Airlift Performance 3P management system. What does that do? Well, that's gonna control the airflow throughout the vehicle. You get this 3P controller here, as you can see. Now, this allows you to control the ride height and pressure of the air in each corner. So each wheel has its own independent bag. You can control each bag with this controller here. You can also set up several presets. So you can set a low driving height, high driving height, and anything in between. Anything you want, you can set up through here. Another cool thing about this is you can actually link this directly to your iPhone or Android phone. That means you could be stood outside the vehicle on your phone, controlling the car, making it go up and down, which is pretty cool, I think. So along with the airlift controller, you also get plenty of airline, and we're gonna run this underneath the vehicle from each independent strut to the rear boot of the car, which will be linked to the airlift manifold, which is inside this box here. You also get the airlift loom, controls all the electrics. Again, will be run from the front to the back of the vehicle, and also a via compressor. This pumps air into the tank and make sure the tank stays full of air whenever you need it. So we decided to go for a relatively hidden install. A lot of classic car owners come to us and they say, oh, we don't actually want people to know the car's bags. We don't want anything showy. We don't want a flash boot build or show build. I'm actually gonna put two, two and a half gallon airlift tanks in the spare wheel well. This is actually gonna keep everything completely hidden and out of the way. So all we'll have to do is lift the boot carpet where you'd normally see the spare wheel, you're gonna see two of these, you're gonna see the airlift manifold and the compressor. As simple as that. Right guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna leave this in the capable hands of our technicians, Jay and Sam. They're gonna get the front and rear kit and their management all bolted onto the car. We'll take you through the whole process and I'll check back a little later on to see how they're getting on. Right guys, so as you saw in the previous episode, Audio sub box is all done. Sam's gonna get out of the car now and we'll show you where we're gonna put the air ride. So, boot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the spare wheel, remove all this, and Sam has actually designed a unit to slot straight into here with the tank and everything we need. So we're gonna completely delete this area and slot something in allowing us to completely basically to use the boot space as we can anyway let me show you what sam has come up with follow me so sam's created this basically it's this panel of mdf to slot straight into the vehicle we've got two airlift two and a half gallon tanks here got the airlift manifold got a via compressor and also a little water trap so sam's going to design all the lines to slot nicely underneath these tanks and completely out of the way 
So all Sam's gonna have to do is run the lines in the vehicle, run it through the boot, slot this panel in, connect all the lines, leak test everything, and go from there. And it's as, as simple as that. Anyway, I can't wait to see this thing in the car. So, lovely. So as you can see, everything's still pretty accessible. That's the main thing, in case you need to service it or you know get to any lines. It's all nice and easy to get to. So that's the mount. What will happen is the controller sitting there, which is the front of the ashtray. Yeah. And this fits back in here, so when it closes, it'll rotate. We'll strip out the old suspension and we'll start fitting the new ones and basically we'll go through the process. Right guys, the springs are out of the Mercedes. I'm going to about to take the shocks out and basically I'll show you what I've taken out and we'll get the new kit installed on the vehicle. So I'm just going to take off a couple of brackets that house the brake lines and sensor wires, fit it onto our new shocks and fit it onto the vehicle. The 124 is done. We have got our struts, our bags, lines connected, heights adjusted, leak tested. So the car is basically ready to go. Um, the next stage will be a set of wheels. Guys, we are back at Voodoo Motorsport. A few months later, and apparently the AMG Aero 3s are all finished. So follow me, let's take a look inside and let's see these wheels. Oh, wow. Ellie, hey. how's it going, man? Good, how Good. are you? Wow. Are you happy with these? Because yeah. I'm really happy with these. Here's the old wheel here. So this is a two-piece. That's an original. The original wheel that we delivered to Voodoo a few months ago. And yeah, you've converted them into a three-piece wheel. Yeah. Pretty stoked with these. Yeah, I'm, we're really happy about how these Was it out. an easy task, difficult? More um, work than you thought, less work? It was a bit more work than we thought, you know, with the with the, uh, the whole design of it and making it work with the dial system. Yeah. So know? what have you had to do to convert these into a free piece? I obviously see we've got a barrel, we have a new outer lip, and we obviously got the original centre. That's it. And new hardware all around. Perfect, yeah. So we um, sourced the parts from Jazz yeah. um, in blank form. Then we had to strip the centres, so they're bare metal to get the mm. sizings and everything perfect machine all the parts to fit all the centers perfectly mm. um, and then obviously the shortfall we have with the with the depth in the center at the back here um, we've covered that by using the dowel system okay there so is this a is a way to strengthen the wheels because obviously this these centers were designed for a two-piece wheel That's it. and not designed for a three-piece so you've had to sort of I guess design this system to allow us give us a bit more strength to strengthen them to center everything sure to um, stop any shifting or movement okay. whilst in use. Okay. So. Well, it looks, they are, look absolutely spot on. I'm really, really impressed. Guys, what do you think of the wheels? I think they look awesome. I cannot wait to get them back onto the car. Hopefully they fit. Hopefully your measurements are correct. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we're quite confident. Um, we, we went for, um, we went for um, half inch and inch sizes, you know, yeah. half inch and inch direct sizes rather than the quarter and three quarter. 
um, just because um, availability, time scales, sure. and it, it, it does give you a little edge as well, and we believe everything will fit just nice. Okay, mate. Well, thank you so much for these, and let's get these back to Hayes, get the tyres fitted, and get them on the car. Well, there we have it. The guys in the workshop have installed the air suspension, the wheels are fitted, and it's the moment of truth. I've got the Airlift app on my phone. Let's air this thing out. I have to say, guys, this Airlift Performance 3P application on my iPhone is pretty damn nifty. Put on a few cars, but awesome to finally air out the Merc 124 build. Anyway, yeah, this thing is tucking the new rims built by Voodoo Motorsport so nicely, tucking front and rear. Thing looks insane. We've set up a nice low driving height. If we need it, we've got even more lift too. But yeah, guys, this thing has come out even better than we could have hoped for. I really, really like the car. I think it looks insane. Loving the wheels, the three-piece custom G Aero three wheels that Voodoo Motorsport have turned, well, they've transformed them from a two-piece wheel into a three-piece split. Looks so sick. I think it was a great idea because at the beginning of the series, me and Raj were contemplating changing the wheels. You know, do we go for the AMG Aero threes? And then obviously our friends at Voodoo convinced us, and I think correctly convinced us to do this and go for the custom splits. It makes the car one off. These wheels are unique to the car and yeah, they don't exist anywhere else in the world. So super cool to see them here on our bends. So guys, I'm loving the interior. I wasn't so sure on the cream interior when we first picked up the vehicle, but I have to say the cream Recaros do look super badass in this car. It's such a nice place to be. And of course, in the boot, Sam has created this wonderful hidden installation using the two airlift two and a half gallon air tanks, the manifold, the water trap is all hidden away underneath the factory boot carpet. So again, other than the audio build in there, you wouldn't actually know that the car is on air suspension, which I think is really, really cool for a classic period car like this. So as you may have noticed, we actually decided to stick with the original steering wheel in the end. At first, me and Raj couldn't stand it, to be honest with you, but over the few months that we've had this car sitting around, it's been in the workshop, we've sat in and out of it, we've driven it loads. We've actually both learnt to really like it. I actually think it ties in with the wood on the rest of the car really well. We decided not to go for the Momo. We had loads of comments of people saying, please keep the original steering wheel. So we have decided to do so, and I think it looks awesome. Another super cool thing about the interior of this car is the incredible custom airlift controller mount that Jay has actually fabricated in-house here. Obviously, he's utilized the original ashtray from the car, got, you know, got rid of the ashtray and replaced it with the 3P controller. This car really is the complete package if you're looking for a nice, usable, classic vehicle. We've also obviously upgraded all the audio in this car, which is what we do here at Car Audio Security. Check back on the previous episodes if you missed that. We've got a Kenwood brand new Bluetooth DAB head unit in there. Very easy to use. We'll connect straight to your Android phone or your iPhone. Super, super cool. We've upgraded the speakers all round. And in the boot, the guys have fabricated a custom dual subwoofer enclosure housing power base subs which actually sounds phenomenal there's so much bass coming out of there now it's actually insane really really clear as well from the updated speakers so audio is top on we've also updated the security we've got a viper smart start system in here which is super cool keeping the thing you know out of harm's way there's that peace of mind there you know the car is secure uh, you can even start it from outside the vehicle which is super super cool too
So yeah, cannot stop looking at this car. It has come out so nicely. I hope you agree with me. It's actually the first classic Benz that we've worked on for ourselves here at Car Audio Security and obviously Slam Smash Customs. I'm super in love with what we've done with it. Let us know in the comments how you think we've got on with it. It's been a pleasure to work on, a pleasure to do all this YouTube content, do all these episodes, put all these amazing products onto the car. The car has come out real, real nice. Big thanks to Dips at the Custom Cars, who's done a phenomenal job in uh, bringing up the bodywork and the paint up to scratch. It's now like show ready, as you'd say. Uh, again, Voodoo Motorsport for the awesome, awesome custom wheels, which are tucking under the arches with that awesome Prazi suspension bolt on air strut kit. This thing is ready for a new owner, I think. However, in the meantime, I think we're gonna enjoy this thing for a couple more shows throughout summer because summer is here. It's the perfect cruiser for summer, I think. We're gonna take it to a couple shows like Players Classic, maybe a couple more, and then maybe towards the end of the season, we will, as promised guys, be putting this car up for sale. So keep an eye on our social media, at Car Audio Security and at Slam Sanctuary, if you're actually interested in purchasing this car. I I'm super, super stoked with it and I think the next owner is going to love it too. Or come and see us at a show and check out the car in person. Okay guys, so as I said before, really hope you've enjoyed this Slam Sanctuary Customs mini-series with our Mercedes 124 project. It's been a joy to work on. If you've enjoyed everything, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button right now and we will be bringing you even more cool content, hopefully another project car in the near future. Until then guys, I'll leave you with a few more shots of the 124. See you later.